What's up, Taurus? This is Soul here, and Taurus, we're going to look at uh, some energy here for you uh, in the month of April when it comes to these relationships, uh, 2024. Taurus, I hope all is well. Uh, so this week here, um, I'm using, well, this month, I should say, I always use my go-to uh, tarot. Since uh, I did throw out a poll earlier to ask whether or not you guys wanted me to continue with these love readings, and it was a resounding yes. So here we are. To compliment your reading, I'll be throwing some messages from the Truth Oracle deck. So uh, please continue to throw in your comments, like, share, subscribe to my channel. And um, let's begin. We're going to cleanse the energy here from Dawn Aries reading. They had a beautiful reading. And also, too, I want to um, wish all the uh, Tauruses or the Bulls out there uh, who celebrate their birthday in the month of April, happy birthday and also happy April Fool's Day. All right, so energies for Taurus. What do they need to know when it comes to these relationships? What do they need to see? What do they need to um, walk away from? What do they need to walk towards? Please tell Taurus what they need to deal with in the month of uh, April. This is for us. Uh, yes, of course. Taurus singles, couples, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars whatever other planet you want to throw in there all right energies for taurus all right here we go taurus we're going to start off with the oh there you go the most positive card in the tarot deck right so ain't nothing gonna go wrong for you bulls and i just said in aries reading too um since they have such a beautiful spread of energy that the sun returns to the the moment or the period of your birth so you should have a, a you know most of you should have a very happy month when it comes to these relationships. Of course, the sun is about relationships, it's about blessings, it's about, you know, feeling successful, childlike, happy, energized. You can't go wrong with the sun shining and smiling on you, uh, Taurus, in the month of April. Oh my goodness. All right, so next up we have you got the star card so now you got two major arcana so we always talk about social uh, media social networking so some of you who are could be single could be you know looking for love and romance or currently are uh online dating which you um are wishing for hoping for praying for in terms of a relationship may be manifested in the month of um you know, April, and this could be for the singles and the ones who are already coupled, okay? Uh, not feeling like, you know, just stay focused on one or two things. Uh, you don't want to feel like, you know, the stars that are scattered in the heavens, because uh, that is energy. But I don't think that you'll have any problems here. So, wow, you have the star card. Very positive energy. Some of you may be dreaming of that relationship that you want to manifest and you know you so desire through the star's energy pay attention to your dreams next up oh you got another major arcana here taurus the chariot so definitely relationships are positively moving forward or you're moving towards something that is very positive some of you may be traveling of course uh i want to stay focused on love and relationships here um excluding any other uh, energies here just staying focused on that so you may be traveling you may be traveling together if you're already involved in a relationship if you are you are safe to and from and because i equate that of the um the chariot of the a star card so you have double the energies here even though they're not the same cards i always equate the chariot and the nine of cups with the star card and vice versa all right so you got some very strong positive energy uh to start off with in the month of april then, oh, we got the world card. So you got four major arcanas. And I always tell you guys, pay attention to the major arcanas. They are heavy weights, okay? They're the power. Uh, they're more powerful than the miners that show up. So this is a card that represents opportunities, a cycle closing uh, up for some of you. A new cycle is about to begin, okay? So you have opportunities the opportunities may be for those singles who are looking for relationships. It mirrors over here to the star card. All things are possible here with the world card. 
Up next here for you, Taurus, we have the Knight of Swords. So some of you are going to take charge. You know, you're communicating, expressing yourself, uh, possibly your needs when it comes to relationships. That could be for those who are already in existing partnerships, or it could be that you, you know, you could, you know, talk to friends, family members, and expressing to them how you um, feel regarding the next relationship that you would like to enter into. Okay. So um, being clear, clearing up any uh, confusion or uncertainty is always the Knight of Swords. Following the Knight of Swords here for you, Taurus, you've got the King of Wands, all right? So you're attracting energy. You're drawing energy towards you or you're moving towards it. The King is always focused on something or someone. This card here represents a strong urge of passion, intensity, definitely sexual energy and sexual expression. Some of you may be in... Um, Involved with fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or there's someone who could be coming along um, that you make a new connection with and they got fire energy. Following the uh, King of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So your own energy shows up here. This simply just means here in a, a love reading for me, there are multiple options. Uh, specifically for those single uh, bulls out there. If you are looking to connect, it's underneath the star card, social media, social networking, right? Put your energy out there. You got the world card here. All things are possible. Opportunities. Mm. So I'm loving this energy here for you, Taurus. All right, so we have the five of cups. This is temporary energies. All fives, no matter what element is uh, present, is only temporary uh, energy. So there could be a moment of sadness or disappointment that, you know, as I was expressing or explaining in the general weekly readings for one of the zodiac signs here, you know, we oftentimes go through periods of, you know, disappointments and whatnot, but that doesn't mean it's detrimental or the ending of the world, right? So whatever it is that this five of cups, if it does express itself towards you uh, in the month of April, a uh, Taurus, just note that it's not going to be the type of energy to stick around. And just to give you an insight of, as to what I'm referring to, it might be that you're already involved in a partnership and, you know, something as simple as, you know, your partner asking you, um, you know, where would you like to go out to dinner or if you wanted to go out to dinner or something like that. And, you know, in their mind, they have some specific place, but you want to go somewhere else. That's the five of cups, okay? Sadness or disappointment, okay? Agree to a dis you know, disagree. Then we have the five of wands. This is always the projection of energy that comes onto you. So make sure that if you are already partnered in a relationship that you are not being drawn in by whatever is going on with your partner because I always say it's the energy of them and not you. They're just projecting their energy onto you. Don't fall for it. Don't add fuel to the fire. Um, this is just pettiness and like the five of cups, that too shall pass. Some of you though, if it's not involving petty arguments or, you know, fights with your partners or, you know, uh, persons that you may be dating, um, you may just feel a little bit restless when it comes to those relationships in the month of April. That too shall pass. Seven of Swords here. Exes. Could be some exes lurking or lingering around. And specifically, the Seven of Swords, I always read that there's, you know, people who you may have been uh, in a relationship with. You, it didn't work out, you know, because it created a lot of conflict for you and the relationship in itself. Well, these people may uh, are still there and it could be in the shadow or in the backgrounds and they, they may come forth in the month of April to um, try to reignite something that has already been lost. So use your best judgment not um, and knowing that, you know, they're not going to offer anything new to you, okay, because they have still yet to resolve the conflicting energies within themselves. All right, so this is what I have for you, uh, Taurus, and it's not too bad. Remember, it's just me interpreting the cards. So let's throw some cards and messages from the Truce Oracle, and you can use these messages however you want. Energies for Taurus. All right, so the first message here, Taurus, is uh, insecurity. So basically, it's just one word here, insecurities. So it could be just you involving, um, you know, certain things going on with your current relationship. If you are involved in a relationship, some elements that may be going on that 
may create some sort of insecurities, um, you know, for you. And the best thing to do is just to have a conversation, you know, have a conversation with your partner to let them know how you feel about something specific. Or it could be for the single bulls out there where, you know, insecurities are plaguing you from, you know, putting your best foot forward and trying to make a new connection when it comes to love and romance. With the Seven of Swords here, it may be in, that you have been in a relationship and you don't, you know, this is a trusting factor that you're not trusting yourself or you don't feel comfortable enough that, you know, the next person that you connect with is going to treat you like the last person that you were connected with. So that's insecurities. Next one up here for you, Taurus, is uh, intimacy. So it's a month of intimacy. Get involved. Okay, we got the king of wands here, that sexual energy, sexual expression. So for a lot of you, there's going to be intimate uh, moments, memorable moments. Next card up for you, uh, Taurus, is uh, friends with benefits. Well, you know, sometimes that works for people too. Sometimes people don't want to, in, you know, make that investment to get involved seriously within a relationship, but they like the benefits of just a friendship. That way that... They, you know, um, also too, it might be connected to insecurities, <laughs> not allowing you to move forward into a, a relationship that fosters a, a, you know, some sort of permanency, right? But you feel more safer with, okay, you know, we'll just do this friends with uh, benefits thing. That way nobody gets hurt. I don't get hurt. You don't get hurt and so forth. Shadow energy here, um, changes. So there are changes that are to occur. For some of you, it could be um, moving from singlehood to partnership, or it could be, you know, partnerships who may engage in taking their relationship a step further if they're not, you know, already engaged or married. Okay, so there are some changes here that are coming up. This is what I have for you, Taurus, in the month of April. Again, it's just me interpreting the cards. Um, take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video. Sh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if I didn't mention it before, well, I welcome all new subscribers. I appreciate you. Throw the comments in. Let me know what you feel. But always come back here to get these uh, beautiful messages. And um, have a great, safe month ahead. Enjoy your birthdays. Happy uh, April Fool's Day. And um, keep smiling. I'll talk to you soon, Taurus. Bye.